Well, we took four days off from this project uh, just to catch up on other stuff. And it's raining goats around here. So, got some there, got some babies here. And the really cool thing is they're hanging out here in the barn. So, we're going to go ahead and get some mats in here and get some shavings and make it a little more hospitable for these guys. Hey everybody, welcome to Yellow Dog Farm. This is why we built the barn door this width so we can get our buggy in there and get things cleaned out and just take care of business. They sure are a curious bunch. We're super happy with the way these stalls turned out. That's a four inch hog panel behind the boards there. And the gates, and boy, with these uh, two by sixes coming across here, it really stiffens up this. 10 foot tall four by four. So really, really pleased with the results and uh, just really happy with the day's work.
Well, it's been a lot of hot days, but we finally have the structure done. We just finished putting the metal corners on and it does a really great little touch. I'm going to walk you in the barn so you can see what it looks like inside done now. And I'd say, you know, ready to move in, but they've already moved in. Some of the mamas just like to hang out in a large open area. So we were going to make this side stalls and decided to just leave it open. And then we did put two stalls in here. And I'm really glad that we changed away from three and went to two. This is a really good size for a mama and a couple of kids. And this is the most rewarding part is you can see that they're already hanging out here. So these three are hanging out just waiting for mama to come back from feeding out in the field. So just stinking awesome. We're really happy with it. There's a supervisor, Lottie. She was a week before everyone else, so she's about double their weight and is just all over the place. So she made a really good building inspector. Here's a look at the back. And I'll show you the side here. We're really proud of this barn. We put some heavy work into it and we think it'll be here for many years and just be great for the goats. So good stuff. And then the only thing left to do is if you look up there at the house, you can see it slopes down here to the barn. And so what we're doing is putting this drainage ditch so that all the water that washes down from that part of the property will be here. And I've got a drain pipe there in the truck that's gonna go in there. And then this truck's full of gravel. So we'll get to moving on this ditch and it'll all be done. So thanks so much for checking out the goat shelter.